Hey guys, let me show you what it looks like once you're enrolled in the course Confident Speaking Practice. This is a new course on my platform. You will not see it advertised on the front page of my website. Uh, actually, it's designed, it was initially designed for a small group of my students who wanted to continue advancing their speaking skills and there was no course available to practice their speaking skills, so I had to create this one. We are a small international group of people, and what we do here is we focus on achieving native-like fluency. The methodology that I have been applying to improving my own English skills is at work here. I'm using the same exercises, and I am actually practicing together with you. The skills that we're working on are storytelling skills, self-presentation skills, spontaneous conversations in English, small talk, advanced listening comprehension, um, and, and, and mostly it's speaking. How can you formulate your thoughts and, and how can you tell sh clear, short, compelling stories? Can you summarize the gist of the idea? Can you tell someone the essence of that or, or this or that message? Um, can you, do you find it easy to communicate your ideas to new people? We practice all these things. So let me walk you through the structure of the course. It's actually very simple. We only have three chapters, like chapter number four, which is the karaoke exercise. It's just an exercise that we do often. So I put the instructions here in a separate lesson. But pretty much you have the replay of all the sessions. It's available. And once you join, you get access to all the lessons that we have done before. If you want to watch um, any of the previous lessons, they're all available for you here. If you want to come back to the session that we had last week or yesterday or a session that you missed for whatever reason, the replay is always going to be available for you because very often you need to watch the same session twice or a few times in order to get all the details and all the nuances that you were not able to catch the first time you watched it. Then there is a chapter with Zoom details. They never change. They always stay the same. And then the most interesting part is homework. So let me show you uh, what we have done so far. Um, I always name the, I summarize the, the session so that people remember what we were doing. We practice spontaneous stories. We focus a lot on chunking. We focus on the English rhythm. We practice our intonations. What we do is we practice sounding fluent and natural when we speak English. Uh, we focus on the sentence stress. We try to remove filler words, work a lot on our confidence. Everybody works on developing their individual presentation style. We work a lot with movies, with podcasts, because we want to learn to hear what people say a lot better. And we want to make ourselves understood when we deliver our thoughts and when we deliver presentations to, to native speakers. Um, what else? Logical stress. We learn to share personal insights about things that matter to us personally. That's actually way more difficult, I would say, way more challenging to people than talking about best practices at work or it's even you know more challenging than delivering business presentations because this is what you probably practice quite often at the office. But sharing your personal insights of telling people what you really think or what you believe in, summarizing your ideas, that's not easy at all. Um, we practice stories, we simplify things, we, you know, we do so many things here. We practice the speed of comprehension, that's another skill, um, another attribute of native life fluency, I would say, because it's, it, it's not just important to I mean, it's not only important to be able to comprehend and to be able to understand what people say, but also it is important to develop the speed of comprehension. How fast can you figure out what people are saying? How fast can you formulate your ideas? Um, how fast can you make sense of what you're reading or what you're watching or whatever? What do you need to know about this group? Maybe a few things. Number one um, is like this is what sorry this is what it may look like. We also work with cartoons sometimes. Why not? And um, actually, I wanted to show you something. 
sometimes you will have to respond to video messages like this one. And this is how we communicate with students in between the sessions. We exchange audio and video messages. So what you want to, what you need to know about this group, if you want to join, if you consider joining us, is A, there's a lot of communication with every student individually, and we exchange video and audio messages. Uh, the next thing is that the group is very small, so everybody gets plenty of individual attention. And I very often give individual guidance to students who are working in the group. Number three is that it's these are real-time lessons. We meet twice a week and we work for two hours. And um, you get real-time feedback on your speaking skills. The next thing is that you will have to speak a lot uh, and you will have to do a lot of tasks that will seem unusual, um, but at the same time, they're very simple. They're very simple, and you probably have heard of them before many times, but you just never got to doing them really consistently. And one more important thing is that we do plenty of iterations of the same task, because it's impossible, it's impossible to master a skill uh, if you have done one task once, and that's it. You need to increase the number of repetitions, meaningful repetitions. You need to do several iterations of the same task because every time you come back to the same task, you see more nuances and you just see more because you come back to the same task as a different person. You know, you look at it differently and you have already received some feedback on your work. So you come back to do it one more time, knowing more and understanding more. So that's probably it. And to summarize it and to answer the most popular question is how do I sign up for the course? Uh, if you are an existing student on my platform, if you have taken uh, any other courses, maybe the listening course, or the writing course, or the public speaking course, simply fill out the form. I probably, you know, I, I, I know that you are my student if you have taken my courses. Fill out the form. Let me know <clears throat> when you would like to begin and you know we will I will send you an email. If you are a new person, you have never taken my courses and you feel that your English skills are pretty advanced but you need more. If your English level is upper intermediate and above, maybe you're an English teacher. A lot of English teachers take my courses as well. Maybe you are someone who is living in an English speaking country right now and you're surrounded by native speakers, but you don't have enough confidence to communicate with them the way you feel you can. Or maybe you're stuck at the same level and you know that you have the potential to move on, but you just don't know how, right? Or maybe you even passed a language test and your language certificate tells you that your English skills are pretty advanced. But when you speak, you can hear yourself and you know that that's not that's not the level that you're capable of, capable of. You know that you're capable of more. So if you want to practice native life fluency with us in our international small group, what you need to do is you need to complete a practical task. The link to the practical task is inside the application form. What you need to do is you need to send a video message like this. You need to respond to a video message and you need to send a video message. I always respond to a video message that you sent to me, that anybody sent. And then we can make a decision together if you're a good fit for the course. You can apply now. And um, usually I restructure the group at the beginning of each month. And you can join until the fifth of every month if there are free spots available. Because I only have eight people in this group. And if the group is full, then you have to wait um, a month or a few months until you can join. If there is a free spot, I will be happy to um, welcome you to the course. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask.